All right then gang, so our form is pretty much complete, but there is one small problem. At the minute, there's no kind of validation rules. So a user could come to this and they could enter no information and still submit the form. And it's still gonna log at the minute, nothing, but it's still gonna submit the form. Okay, now we don't want this to happen because in the future we might link this up to a database and submit this information to some kind of collection. We don't want to submit anything that's empty like this. We want to make sure that this data exists. So to do that, we're gonna add some validation to this form. Now, Viewtify makes this pretty easy to do and the way we do it is by adding a rules prop to the input fields that we want to validate. So this is the text area, or rather the text field, sorry. I could add a rules prop and set that equal to something. Now Viewtify is gonna expect this to be an array of rules, which is data. So we need to data bind. To do that, we add the colon in front of rules and we're gonna bind an array of rules to this property. So I'll call this input rules like so. Now we need to define this array of rules down here. So let's do that. We'll say input rules and this is just an array of different rules, okay? So each rule is just a function, and that function is gonna fire on each input field that we apply these rules to, to make sure that the value inside that input field is valid. So for example, I might want to check that the minimum amount of characters is three. So if they type in HE, then it's not valid, but if they type in HED, then it is valid because it's three characters long. So let's do that. So each rule is a function. It takes in the value of that particular input field that it's working on. And inside this arrow function, I'm gonna use a logical or operator to check if something is valid. So the first thing I want to do is evaluate something. Now I wanna say v.length is greater than or equal to three. Then I'm gonna use double pipe logical or and create an error if this is not true. So I'll just say minimum length is three characters, okay? So what's going on here? Well, these input rules, these are bound to this input field right here. When a user types into that, then these functions are gonna fire. There's only one function at the minute, only one rule, but it's gonna fire, and it's gonna take the value of that text field. This function is gonna look at this thing right here. And if this evaluates to truthy, then it's gonna ignore this error because obviously it's valid. The length is greater than three. If this evaluates to falsy, if it's less than three, then this is gonna be output to the screen. So let me show you this. I'm gonna save it and preview this in a browser. Add new project. Now, if I go to title and then try to skip it, we can see this error now. Minimum length is three characters. But if I start to type three characters, then it goes away, all right? If I delete those, it comes back over three characters, it goes away. So that's nice. So I'm gonna do the same thing now to this one down here, the text area. So let me grab that and paste it here. And I'm also gonna do the same thing to the text field down here, which is the date. So all three of them now have to have a value, right, which is three characters or longer. So this is fine now. This, we're getting the error because there's no value there. So let's type hello. And down here, if we were to click this and then click away, we get an error there as well. I'm gonna choose a date and then that goes away, okay? Now, that's nice. We have all of that feedback working, but there is still a problem here. If we were to delete one of these, even though we get that error right here, it doesn't stop us from submitting the form. If I click add new project, we're gonna see this log to the console. The title is missing, but we get the content but there is no title. So this would still submit even though we're getting this error. Now, this is here for kind of user feedback only to tell the user that this is not valid. It's not stopping us submitting the form. So let's look at how we can stop the form from being submitted. So the way we're gonna do that is do a little check down here in this function called submit because this is the function that fires when we click on this button, right? So. What we need to do is check if the form is valid there and Viewtify gives us a way to do that. First of all, I'm gonna give a reference value to our form right here. This is vanilla Vue.js and that ref is gonna be equal to form just so we can grab it using a reference down here. So down here, I can grab that form now using this dot dollar sign refs 
and then dot form, which is the name I gave it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is a little if check and say if this dot refs dot form, and then use a method called validate to see if this is valid. So this is going to fire a function on the form. If it's valid, then we're going to submit it. We're going to do this inside. If it's not valid, then we won't submit it. Okay. And it will display any errors if there are any. So let's save that and view this again. Add new project and try to add this now. Then we get those errors. Okay. So it doesn't submit the form anymore because we did this little check down here, this validate method. So let's just fill these in. Hello and test and choose a date and try to add project. And now it works. All right. So that's our form and validation pretty much done now, guys. In the next video, what I'm going to do is introduce you a little bit to Firestore. We're not going to delve too deep, but we're going to submit this data to Firestore in the next video.